Slow COVID NC has been downloaded more than 100,000 times in just a few weeks. The launch of the app focused mainly on college students heading back to campus, but now they want more North Carolinians to join in. Our mobile devices keep track of everything these days, and you can now include COVID-19 exposure. North Carolina's top health officials plan for months to get slow COVID NC up and running with Apple and Google. It captures no personal information about you. It captures no location information about, about you. And you ask, well, how does it work? Well, it uses Bluetooth technology. Once you've enabled your Bluetooth, you open the app and enable notifications, which gives your phone its own token. If you go to a party or gathering where others have downloaded the app too, your phone will pick up their tokens, which will come in handy if down the line someone reports they've contracted the virus. Well, if you have enough people with this particular application, then, then right away, as soon as I get a notification, I get a pin, I key it in, and then it's going to let everyone else who has that app know to contact the public health department. The app has been downloaded more than 100,000 times. It's believed college students make up most of the numbers. But with phase three in effect, Gibbs hopes the app expands. Any type of a gathering that, that, that potentially people are going to get together, we want to focus and target on, on those areas because we know that's where we can be most effective with the application. Gibbs says so far 14 positive results have been recorded since the launch of the app, and he hopes as more people download and use it, people will feel comfortable recording their positive results. In the newsroom, Linnea Lewis, Fox 46.